They literally queued around the block to get in, and with no shortage of elaborate and colourful foliage, there was plenty to choose from. For Lewis Cox, it couldn't have been a better start. A recent redundancy because of coronavirus forced him to come up with something else to bring in the money. We ran out of uh, our first bits of stock about an hour into the market. So, yeah, we, we, we're running out of uh, things thick and fast. The flower markets had to respond to the virus as well. Hand sanitizer on entry, controls on the numbers and a one-way system. But uh, you can see what the problem is. It's busy. I mean, how do you socially distance crowds in a market? For those organising, all local residents volunteering to help their high street, the success has been overwhelming. You've had to kind of sort of think on your feet a little bit, haven't you, today? Yes, we have. Uh, we've been planning, but actually what you can't really stop is people bunching together around a very popular stall. So we had to send in the marshals, ask them to stand back. We had to bring in the community police and ask them to help us as well. But we want people to have a pleasant experience. For those who turned up, both big and small proved too tempting. You've got a lot there, haven't you? We have, yeah. <laughs> we went a bit mad. Um, we haven't gone big, but um, <laughs> this is a sage plant. Teething problems aside, you couldn't really have asked for a better start for Chiswick's new bloom. Jim Weeble, BBC London, Chiswick.